work in stockpile stewardship, exciting developments in supercomputing and HIV research, and the fight against improvised bombs marked recent highlights at Los Alamos National Laboratory. The Weapons Program. It's the most modern warhead in the U.S. nuclear arsenal and deployed to the Navy's submarine fleet. Work has begun on casting a war reserve W-88 pit, the first W-88 deliverable for this year. The casting process is new for the W-88, the result of extensive study and certification. In collaboration with Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory, Los Alamos has begun the transition to manufacture W-87 pits. Los Alamos is integrating Livermore teams, working side by side at Technical Area 55, and demonstrating that Los Alamos is indeed the nation's plutonium center for excellence. Roadrunner, the world's first supercomputer capable of a thousand trillion calculations per second, has now fully transitioned to classified work. Roadrunner spent a year and a half running complex open science models, including fluid dynamics, evolution of the HIV virus, and the early stages of a supernova. But a new supercomputer is on the horizon. Los Alamos will be home to Cielo, a new system from Cray that will support advanced simulation and computing at all three National Nuclear Security Administration laboratories. The $54 million effort was announced in April. Science and technology. Another Los Alamos project heads for the heavens. ChemCam will be delivered to NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in preparation for a mission to Mars scheduled for 2011. ChemCam is a rover-mounted laser system that can analyze the chemical composition of Martian regolith and rock. Researchers, including a team from Los Alamos, developed a strategy called Mosaic Vaccines that may reduce the spread of HIV, the virus that causes AIDS. This vaccination strategy has shown it expands immune responses in rhesus monkeys. Global security. Homemade explosives such as these are the biggest threat to American troops overseas. Los Alamos conducted two additional courses for troops on detecting improvised and roadside bombs. More than 200 troops, including some from the New Mexico National Guard, will now take the training to their home units. Global security, as well as science, technology, and engineering, provided rapid response modeling and analysis to better inform decision makers about the volcanic eruption in Iceland. And at the request of the Secretary of Energy, Los Alamos experts contributed their skills and knowledge in the aftermath of April's oil rig catastrophe in the Gulf of Mexico. The laboratory's efforts were praised during congressional hearings in May. The environment. Thanks to $212 million from the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act, the laboratory is demolishing more than 20 unused Cold War era buildings. The lab has created or saved more than 300 full-time jobs, most with small businesses. The area will be cleaned and ready for land transfer. Work is ahead of schedule and under budget. Efficiencies may allow even more legacy cleanup before the Recovery Act deadline of September 2011. In another Recovery Act undertaking, the lab is partnering in a $44 million project with the National Alliance for Advanced Biofuels and Bioproducts. The effort will develop and demonstrate ways to extract renewable fuels from algae at much larger scales than today's approaches. Inside the laboratory. Work has begun on removing hazardous waste in the laboratory's old administration building. Months of waste removal and preparation will occur before the building is demolished. Los Alamos awarded the demolition contract to a team of small businesses, including one from White Rock, New Mexico. The community. 55 New Mexico students are receiving scholarships thanks to the generosity of Los Alamos National Laboratory employees who donated to the Los Alamos Employees Scholarship Fund. The lab in March announced two new awards from its Venture Acceleration Fund. One New Mexico business models wildfires. The second is developing a better way to convert vegetable oil to diesel fuel. Media coverage. Los Alamos breakthroughs and accomplishments continue to gain worldwide media attention. Stories appeared in Nature, Scientific American, The New York Times, National Public Radio, The Associated Press, Discovery News, and in many other media outlets. Anticipating, innovating, delivering science that matters. 
the men and women of Los Alamos National Laboratory.